Hello, and welcome once again to Escaping Dystopia, DeFi Edition. Tonight we have a quick little functional episode for you. I'm going to show you how to take advantage of the nearly 20% interest rate you can get on the UST stablecoin using essentially any value going from Coinbase Pro to Terra Station. And I'll show you how to do that very quickly and cheaply using a decentralized exchange in the middle. So to get this done, you're gonna need three things. A Coinbase Pro account with some value that's available to transfer out. You're going to need a Kepler web wallet. You can check here for our story on wallets and hot wallets and web wallets, all the same thing, uh, on how to set that up. And then you'll also need a Terra Station destination account that you've probably already got set up or you wouldn't be here wondering how to get UST that you can actually deposit into the Anchor Protocol. The Luna and Terra UST that they sell on Coinbase Pro is the ERC20 version, the Ethereum version. In order to translate those normally on a DEX, you have to pay Ethereum gas fees. The whole point of this video is to show you how to avoid ever having to pay Ethereum gas fees. So, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. One of the first things, like I said, that you're going to need is going to be a Coinbase Pro account with some value in it. Now, I am doing Atom for this because Atom is the way that we're going to go through this. Atom is the core token of the Cosmos hug and is what really kind of makes the rest of this all possible. So we got $16.16. This, it is 10.29 p.m. One of the things that we need, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to send the Atom from Coinbase Pro to our Kepler web wallet. So I have an account of $0.62. We'll keep track of that. All right, so this is our address. Copy the address here. Now we're going to go here. And we want to withdraw. Uh, excuse me, withdraw, and we will place this atom. So we are going to pick a crypto address to withdraw. We'll click there. Now this is where we will put in our new atom address. We're going to use that address. It's valid. It does not require a memo because this is an external address. We're going to do the maximum possible, which is going to be the amount in the account minus this. We see here that our fees are going to be 0 0.0025 Atom, which is not a whole lot. This Coinbase Pro, for some reason, does not give you the dollar amount of the fees, but we're going to keep track of all of this. Remember, we started with $16.16. Uh, processing time, five seconds. Bam, let's do it. So it's going to ask me for my code, which we a two-factor authentication, which I will send up. And we're back. So it sent me my code. I entered the code. And now the withdrawal is started. Uh, Atom is a very quick network on withdrawal. It should be there. It says five seconds. Let's see if we've got it. Oh, there it is. So it's already over there in our other wallet. All right. So now we've got $16.10 in our Cosmos wallet in Kepler. So next step. We're going to head on over to Osmosis. Osmosis is the DEX also built with the Cosmos SDK. It is where we're going to swap from our Atom tokens to our Luna tokens. So what we need to do first is deposit our Atom. So we are connected with our wallet. You can with us uh, Kepler. You can pick various accounts. This is the one I just set up for this little demonstration. I will go ahead and deposit. It says, how much would you like? Oh, here's our whole thing now. You can't quite do the max. Actually, oh, excuse me, you can do the max. They have now adjusted this so it keeps your uh, extra amount to pay the gas fees. With Cosmos SDK tokens, each native sovereign token is used to pay gas fees on that sovereign blockchain. So we're now depositing 0.65 atoms into osmosis. We'll say yes, would you like to do this? See, I've got to pay my 29 cents here. So there's that. So there's our 29 cent fee along with the other one. So we are taking some hits here. 
Now the way osmosis works, it will confirm that and then it will go down here and you can see down here at the bottom that it is still pending the final transaction. This can, oh, well, well that's done. All right. <laughs> Not a whole lot of contention on the relayers. So now what you do here on osmosis, you say, here's Adam. I would like to trade Adam for... This is going to get crazy once I have 200 of these on here. All right, which is probably going to happen over this next year. We're going to do the max. We're going to trade everything. Now we're down to 15.5. We're going to trade to Luna. Swap on over to Luna. Osmo, as noted here, is free. We'll see how long the validators continue to support that network. But it's been fun for this year so far. Now we're going to broadcast that transaction. And we're done. All right, nice. Now we've got some Luna in our wallet. So, we're going to go over here and look back at our assets page. We've got $15.20 worth of Luna. We're going to withdraw. Again, with osmosis, there are no fees for withdrawal, so now you can do the full withdrawal for all of this. This will now go to my Luna address. All right, it is now done. Successful being sent to the bridge and going across. We see here, now this is pending to go all the way over. Oh, and it's done. All right. So now we have Luna in our Luna address on Kepler. There it is, $15.4. Now we're going to send this to our Terra station address. So now we have that Terra address there. Send this on over. Boop, biddy, boop, boop, boop. Um, we don't have a max button here yet, so hopefully those guys will get to that before too long. Let's see how far... Ooh, let's see. We've got to use 0.012 Luna for this. So we'll go down to 5 there and see if we can get it. 8 cents to do that. So we're going to try this. Send it on over. Boom, 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 ba -da, ba -da, boom, ba -da, boom. <laughs> Sorry. This is kind of fun. All right, so... Bam, over there now. Did I just do something wrong? I think I just did something wrong. Oops. Oh, dang it. Oh, you can just do the max button. If you just click on it, it'll save it. Damn it. All right. So I accidentally... <clears throat> So I accidentally sent over the wrong amount in the first one, you may have remembered. So now I'm sending the rest of it. So this is going to be two Luna sends. So I spent an extra eight cents for those two. Um, that should go now. Boom, now that's empty there. Now we'll see here in our Luna address after we reset that. We now have our $17, our 20 our 0.26 Luna. Ah, uh, shoot, I had a little bit in here beforehand. So now I have my Luna here in my Terra Station address. I had, uh, I think, a few cents worth of Luna here, so I've kind of lost my total cost here. But at this point, you've got the Luna here. Uh, all you have to do is then swap. You go here, you select, I would take my Luna. I would like to swap it for UST. Uh, I'll do something like that. It will say this. Our trading fee here is going to be five cents. What the hell, man? So anyway, uh, we do our... That's it. So then you remember your password, and then you send that on over. Now you got that swap going. Boom, ba -da boom, boom, boom. Oh, now we're winning. Oh, Luna is so slow. God. And now you go to your wallet and then you say, I would like to now deposit. I had $9.26 in there before I added $17. Now I've got $26, so I'm going to deposit. We'll deposit $20, or I mean, so what was our original thing? $16.16, $16, which leaves us with 9 We had $9.26 in here before. I was trying to keep track of exactly how we were going to do it. I should have emptied all these wallets beforehand. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and deposit uh, $25. Uh, actually, I need to keep a little UST in here. I, I like to keep a, a few bucks for extra fees. So we'll put $21 in here. Uh, that's it. Yeah. 
Bam! Password entered. We're done here. And final say. Ultimately, I think we're looking at uh, bam. Success. Deposited $21 at 10.39 p.m. So ultimately, that was about 10 minutes. Um, and that was moving all the way across those blockchains, doing the swap, everything. So we'll edit this down, and but that's that's some basic uh, moving from any kind of value on an exchange to then depositing uh, a stable coin in a decentralized application. Voila! <laughs> So that's it. So if you want to get 20% instead of 0.01% uh, on your savings, there is some risk involved. You do have to make sure you put the right addresses, like I was doing in all there, and you do have to make sure that you don't ever give anyone your private key or mnemonics. If you can figure out those and how to install some basic software, welcome to the future.